Self-sabotage, probably one of the most detrimental activities that us as human beings can engage in. On today's episode, we're gonna share five ways to avoid self-sabotage, number one, and number two, to catch yourself the moment you are experiencing or going through a process of self-sabotage. Next to me, as always, Anna-Marie Meyer and Eddie Mechane. Sure, thank you. Thank you. Let's give our viewers some value. Yeah. At one or other stage, we all engage in that activity. Mm -hmm. However, unless you are consciously catching yourself and saying to yourself, listen, you're going down a road where it's going to be dark, it's going to be difficult, and there's nothing good down there. Unless you have that mental block to say, let's go back, mm -hmm. you are going to fail leading yourself, leading your family, leading your career, leading your life. So... I want to start off with the first point, being a complainer. That is probably one of the bigger self-sabotage activities that us as human beings engage in. By constantly complaining, first of all, you're just going to draw all that attention towards you. And you can never walk out being an expert in your field. So stop complaining, see the problem and tackle the problem. Because once you've got an answer, there's no reason for complaining. Absolutely. Definitely agree. Yeah. Number two, being defensive. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> so uh, I, I do recommend that we, here and there you do defend. But what are you defending? The minute you are very defensive, especially if you have to explain ideas, your ideas that are proven not to work, you're just blocking yourself from gaining trust with your employees, your colleagues. And uh, obviously that limits the chances of success. Absolutely. Yeah. I fully, fully agree. Number three, being hypercritical. So have you ever met a person that has a problem to every solution? I know I've met many. The moment that you present a possible solution, they always give you problem, problem. So being hypercritical sometimes blocks you from seeking to understand. Therefore, mm -hmm. you've got a mental block. You are in a defensive mode rather than I'm going to attack today by gaining knowledge. So it's very important to catch yourself when you do that. Yeah, then number four, being self-deprecating. You've got to believe in yourself. Most people think they don't have the ability to solve something, mm -hmm. and that's why they do it. So you start questioning yourself immediately. Think, okay, can I do this? Just do it. Once you've done it, you'll realize that Okay, it was actually quite easy. Yeah. You can do it. But even if you fail, you're starting from a better point, a point of experience. I've failed in Definitely. this. And, um, okay, let me try a different angle. Yeah. Let me try a different mindset. Let yeah. me try a different strategy. Believe, let me try a different team. Believe in your ability. And lastly, being a fatalist. Yeah, so, so it's very important um, how we speak to ourselves. Absolutely. Assuming that we are all chasing success, if you're going to give power or consider worst case scenarios, you might as well tool down. You've given the power away. With everything, you just need to be pessimistic all the time. If you believe, you believe the outcome will be positive, that's exactly where you're headed. Absolutely. Yeah. And if it's Definitely. not, you can always adjust. You can always Take try the with it. Absolutely. Dust yourself and move on. There we go. Yeah. Take the lesson. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. So I hope the five ways help you. I hope the five ways give you a different perspective and a different angle of looking at things. Daily life, family, career. If they do, please leave us a comment as well as a like button and... And subscribe to our channel. Sure. Please remember to ring the bell. Thank you very much. Take care and have a beautiful day. Bye-bye. Thank you.